Hi and welcome to the session. Let us discuss the following question. The question says from a committee of 8 persons, in how many ways can we choose a chairman and a vice chairman, assuming one person cannot hold more than one position? Before solving this question, we should first be well versed with theorem 1 given in your NCRT book. Theorem 1 states that the number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time and the objects do not repeat is n p r here n is the number of different objects and r is the number of objects taken at a time and this NPR is equal to N factorial upon N minus R factorial. We will use this theorem as key idea to solve this question. Let's now begin with the solution. Look at the question again. The question says from a committee of 8 persons in how many ways can we choose a chairman and a vice chairman assuming one person cannot hold more than one position. In this question we have to find number of ways in which a chairman and a vice chairman can be chosen when one person cannot hold more than one position. That means the same person cannot hold both the positions. Here we have eight different persons and we have to choose two persons out of them as only one person can hold one position thus no repetition is allowed. Therefore number of ways in which a chairman and vice chairman can be chosen when one person can hold only one position is equal to number of permutations of eight different persons taken two at a time. By theorem 1, we know that number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time and the objects do not repeat is npr. By theorem 1, we know that number of permutations of n different objects taken r at a time and the objects do not repeat is npr. Here, n different objects are 8 different persons and r is 2. 
and one person can hold only one position. So this means number of permutations of eight different persons taken two at a time is 8P2. We know that N P R is equal to N factorial upon N minus R factorial. Here N is 8 and R is 2. So 8P2 is equal to 8 factorial upon 8 minus 2 factorial. And this is equal to 8 factorial upon 6 factorial. And this is equal to 8 into 7 into 6 factorial upon 6 factorial. Cancelling 6 factorial from both numerator and denominator, we are left with 8 into 7. 8 into 7 is 56. Hence our required answer is 56. This completes the session. Bye and take care.